canal is a series of level steps between one point and another. In this case, from Hagerstown, 76 miles to the Ohio River at Lawrenceburg. There are 56 locks, meaning that there are roughly 56 levels. That means that each section of, of, of this canal is water level so that you can pull the boat upstream or downstream with essentially the same amount of effort. You have a series of locks to negotiate those levels because, of course, you have to drop, uh, I believe, 491 feet of elevation between Hagerstown and the Ohio River. To keep the canal level, you're going to have to have an elevator to get you down to the next level of the canal, so we have these series of locks. The canal also has to cross streams and rivers because you want to keep your canal separate from rivers so that you're not having to deal with floods. So they had to build aqueducts, like the Duck Creek Aqueduct, to get you over the creek or the river. They also had canal culverts where it carried the actual earthen canal prism over the top of the creek. Uh, you had to have feeder dams to feed water into the uh, canal. Indiana got started in canal construction a little late. Uh, they started work on the Whitewater Canal uh, in the fall of 1837. They attempted to build numerous canals at once. Eventually it overextended the, the Board of Internal Improvements and the state went bankrupt and they had to stop construction of the canals. The Whitewater Canal Company of Connersville was formed. And so this was really a local operation. The people here were going to try to finish this task and they borrowed money from Henry Ballot. He was their hero for backing this project. And in 1843, they opened a stretch of it to Laurel and then just one year after another. By the time the system was complete in 1847, railroads were, were already uh, coming into their own. The advantages of railroads over canals was tremendous. They were much faster, they were cheaper to maintain, uh, they didn't get flooded out nearly as often as canals did. So by the time the Whitewater Canal was finished, people were beginning to ship their goods via the railroad and they were losing customers on the canal. important because you can come down here and get a real good feel and flavor of what it was like and say hey here's go on the canal boat we'll talk a little bit about the history of uh, of Indiana and the canal in particular and then you can do uh, you know kind of get the feel and flavor of it that helps it out it's entertaining and educational both what we try to do is maintain things to, to keep that going you know long past the time we're going to be here and that's important in the sense for Indiana folks and for all folks to come and visit because again you get that sense of history you get the taste of the past if you haven't done discovered metamorph you need to do that take the boat ride look at this incredible town this pre-Civil War town is truly is unique in the whole country. There's just so much going on in this beautiful county. And I would invite all of you to come down and make some time and effort to spend a day or two here. <laughs>